This is a video showing how to select multiple points on a graph and then the tools that are available once you've made that selection. When you open up a new graph, the graph tools bar is already open. This tool shown here with the hand and the rectangle is a toggle button. Initially, this tool means that if you click, hold, and drag, you will displace the display of the graph. If you then click on this box here, it will toggle to the selection box. This is how you make the selection of multiple points on your graph. So you can then click, hold, and drag a rectangle that will enable you to select multiple data points. Another feature of this is that if you select within the selected box, click, hold, and drag, that will now move the selection area around your graph area. So you can select the particular area of your graph that you want to analyze. Once you have the selection area, you can click on it and then see above it the contextual tools that are now available. The left hand one is the sigma button which represents the statistics that you can apply. The middle button is for applying a linear fit to the data set. And then finally, the one on the far right hand side is for more advanced curve fits such as polynomials or other types of curve fits. So I'm going to select again on my selected area to activate my tools and now I can select my sigma for my statistics. You can now select as many or as few of these statistics as you wish to have displayed. Once you selected the statistics that you wish displayed, click on the OK button and you'll see these displayed. You can move the display of these values around the graph uh, by clicking on the numbers that are displayed clicking, holding, and dragging them, and that can move them to where you want them. Once that's selected, if you want to actually get rid of that display, you can click on the X button to remove them. Or if you wish to assign different statistics, you can then click on the Sigma button again and deselect the ones that you do not want and reselect the ones that you do. And those values will be changed. I'm going to deactivate that tool here, remove it. I'm going to click on my area again and that reactivates my available tools above. Now I wish to apply my curve fit. In this case, I'm applying a linear fit. It will give you the slope, the intercept, and then also parameters showing the goodness of fit. Again, this can be moved around. And once it's been selected again, that gives me the option of either um, showing or hiding the curve fit or completely removing it by clicking on the X. Finally, I'm going to click on this selection area again and select the rightmost tool for uh, my various curve fits. So we have a variety of curve fits that can be applied to the data set. So you and your students will decide which would be the best curve fit for the data that it's displayed. So once you've selected the curve fit that you wish, which can include the uh, linear fit, that will be applied and displayed for your data set. Again, if you click on the curve fit again, you can change the curve fit that is displayed. This has been a quick video showing the multiple tools that are available once multiple points are selected on your graph.